Welcome back to Elden Ring. We're gonna die. A we're gonna lot. die. I'm gonna spoil it for you. We're, we're just gonna die. We're gonna die a lot. I'm dry. Dry as a bone. Fool dragon, surrender your strength. Let me feast on your heart. Do 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 do. All right, let's try this again. Yeah. I think oh. I should be able to. Eh, maybe not. About two or three YouTube episodes ago, or last Twitch session, I was going to bring up something, and then I completely forgot about it. I feel like you've what? done that. For the same thing a couple of times, honestly. Yeah, but I just remembered what I was going to bring up back then, uh -huh. and it was about Key. me me saying that character based, like I think I call them like actually mascot platformers, how yep. how they are often are a little bit too cartoonish in what they are. But I was just thinking, if you would have more of an animal as your mascot, like Sonic, that would start veering into furry territory, which might be kind of creepy. I mean, probably a little bit at least. So I guess... Especially if you go in, more realistic. So I guess in a sense of things... So what, I'm less... saying, what you're saying is you want Movie Sonic to be the new platformer. Like the original uh, movie Sonic look. Did did you see the new Chippendale movie? I did not. Apparently, there is a scene with bad trailer Sonic. Oh God! They talk talking about how CGI surgery can go. I think it was like. CGI surgery gone wrong or something? Yeah, I think that's the idea of like what I guess Dale was doing. Yeah. Which, if this is supposed to be a reboot of Chip and Dale, which it kind of is, but at the same time, not since it takes like all the past into consideration. I was gonna say but it like. They make it so that Chip and Dale is actually a show and not, like, the reality of the situation. Yeah. So, with DuckTales being rebooted as its own thing, with, um, Rescue Rangers, Darkwing Duck, and Tailspin in the world as other things... I'm kind of surprised that none of the other Disney Afternoon shows got a continuation from the spinoff. Divine. Oh, hey, this is where we needed to go. This is where hey. I get that rune activated. Like the Darkwing Duck episode. That one was good. I haven't watched enough of it. Also, here's your reference. Yes! Yes! I'll applaud it. Oh, I don't want to disparage it. I'll applaud it. Good job. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, that's up. I'm guessing that's back down. Because I don't think I've seen the Tailspin episode, but... Nope. Suppo supposedly time has passed in that world and Kit and Molly are young adults. I think you told me about that. Like they had they had aged up. Yeah. And Kit is more Oh, there's the door. Like a brown blue. Mm -hmm. Man, with all that sky surfing, you think he would have, you know, not gained the that much weight. But maybe when he was in his 20s, he Broke his ankle. Oh my his... god, the way you try to, like, reason this shit out. <laughs> and 
and his sky sipping days were done for. My God. Like, absolutely no evidence. Pure and utter speculation to make this functionally work. Uh, yeah, I, I, I know Molly was... I know she has some kind of evil Knievel style outfit on with like a cape and like a multicolored helmet. So. I kind of recall that. But I don't know how often that actually showed up. Since the that may have only been one episode with the Tailspin cast. Yeah. I meant like in the original Tailspin episodes. I don't remember how uh, uh, often that actually showed up. Never, because I believe Molly was three or f between three and five. I know she was pretty young. Mm -hmm. And so Kit's like nine or something. Yeah, so the chances of her... Doing stunts. I think, like, her mom was... Yeah, Becky. I think Becky would have, like, a huge freak out saying, like, Lou, you idiot. How... Like, why did you let my daughter stow away on your ship? Huh. Your plane. Oh, that's the fort where we got the thing at. Okay. Oh. So this entire section is something we have yet to see. Man, I should really watch Tailspin again. Surface ahead, therefore try- Yeah! Great surface, buddy! Did you ever play the Tailspin NES game? Oh, and there's the fort. Uh, Tailspin NES. No, I did not. I did not uh, own an NES. It- I just want to say, like, compared to the other Capcom Disney Afternoon games, Tailspin is definitely the worst. Mm -hmm. Wait, two decayed fingers? Yes. These things. They're decayed. Huh. We saw them before, or at least, you know, something very close to this, if not the same. So the two fingers are a species? That's what I'm understanding, or they're an extension of something. An extension of... Rock! Oh, God. We are the two fingers. So it's wait, not Chicago. Wait, does this make? Does that mean that these guys were a cover band or something? No, no, no. Um, we're in the lore of the music band, the two fingers. That's in your head. The three fingers are their cover band. Then what are these? I don't know. I figured that. I figured this was a cover band that failed to gather the same respect as the actual two fingers and thus died wait wait were the two fingers in round table hold were they hairy at all because yes okay because these seem to have hairy knuckles yeah so did that so mm -hmm. that's that one all right what did radon's rune do Raises maximum HP, FP, and stamina. <laughs> Great rune of the shard bearer Radon blesses. Ra uh, its blessing raises maximum HP, FP, and stamina. Radon was amongst the children of Renala and Radagon, who became a demigod stepchild. Uh, who became demigod stepchildren after Radagon's union with Queen Merica. The Great Rune burns to resist the encroaching the encroachment of the Scarlet Rot. Okay. All right, so now I want to know what down is. Because I have not gone down yet. And I think we discussed that since the three fingers are associated with madness, that that might give us somewhat of a worst ending. And I know, like, all the endings are ambiguous to whether or not they're more positive or more negative, but I just have a feeling that 
becoming a follower of the Three Fingers will lead us to the worst ending of the game. I mean, you are right. It does really depend on perspective. Because um, honestly, but, with, with Dark Souls, it it's very ambiguous as to what is better and what is not. But descending the world into madness, I just feel like that's negative any way you look at it. True, but you might also have to look at the idea of is the world worth saving at that point? Or is shit just getting worse with you trying to fix it? Fair point. Because that was one of the ways Dark Souls, like, ending could have been taken, is like, this guy keeps trying to force the world to keep doing the same thing over and over again. He's not letting the world take its natural path. Should I just say fuck it and let it all go? Hmm. Still around the corner. I know, I saw it. Oh shit, I wasn't ready for the firebomb! Oh no! You were expecting spear, but it was me, Theo! I was expecting greatsword. I was not expecting, you know, spear at all. Fire or firebomb. Can you burn? Burn! want to see you burn! Yeah, none of that. I said no. I... I think I told you about the... my one friend who had the nickname Skippy, right? Uh... I don't recall, honestly. I... Like, I had a few friends with, like, weird nicknames that I forget the origination of, but... I'm disappointed his name wasn't Skeeter. But I had a friend whose nickname was... Oh, it doesn't open from the side. Okay. Wait, no. No. All right, I can't get... It, it, it was the same guy, but he also had the nickname Cheddar because I believe his last name was, like, Marchetto or something like that. Uh-huh. But, the, but, the... And I know this guy whose last name was Coates, and my one science teacher huh. kept calling him Jackets. Uh-huh. And he, he was, like, a little bit of an eccentric science teacher. Okay. But I, I just feel like science teachers are the most eccentric out of, like, all the teachers. I right? mean, you know, they want to be mad scientists. Can you blame them? But one guy who I, like, I think he was, like, three or four years older than me. I so I wasn't me. that good friends with him, but his nickname was Chunks. Chunks. I don't know. And one asshole in my grade was like, oh, I heard you were sick. I'm like, oh, yeah, I was out for like three days. He goes like, did you blow chunks? I'm like, yeah, I did. He goes, you're gay? I'm like, what? And then he's like, you blew chunks. I'm like, shut up. You're like, oh, God, really? You couldn't have come up with something better than that. But uh, he was one... I, I, he was like the jerk who I told you about, like occasionally, who was like an asshole to all. Hello, of my what? Friends. What? What is this? Newman's rune. The Newman rune. Newman. Bleh. The Newman are said to have come from outside the lands between, and are in fact of the same stock as Queen. So America isn't native to this place. Ooh. That's fascinating. Yeah, that's a lot of runes. That's nice. That's that's a third of a level for us. But I actually saw him the other day, maybe like two weeks ago, and 
he gave off a far less asshole vibe than he did like two years ago when I saw him last. Mm -hmm. So maybe he mellowed out or matured because I know he got divorced in the past mm -hmm. so, sometime in the past two years so maybe that made him like mature rather than him be because he always gave off a I'm much better than you kind of vibe uh -huh. but yeah Ooh, but, I, ain't get, oh. I ain't getting over there yeah, but up until recently, he's one of those people, whenever I would see them, I'm like, oh, it's him. But now, if I do see him again, and he has that I'm not an asshole energy, I could see myself possibly becoming, like, somewhat acquaintances with okay, him. Okay, that was just death. Ooh, All right, cool. Ooh. Too far. Was Good it? to know. Was there anybody like that that you knew at any point in your life who was always an asshole, no matter, like, how hard you tried to, like, see him in positivity? Like, you're like, there's no way I can ever be truly nice to this jerk. Oh, yeah. Mm. There was. Yeah, but hopefully he'll come around one day to you too. Mm, I wouldn't hold that out. Yeah, but it happened to. Probably because I, I I have no idea what the fuck the guy's doing now. Uh, I haven't seen him since like high school. Ah, uh, oh, okay, okay, but yeah, I, I see this guy like every year or so. All right, I've got one more idea I want to try. Hmm, maybe. Nope. Nope. Still dead. All right. So I couldn't sneak in there. What wonder... happens if you would land on the ledge? Well, I was trying to land on the little ledge that was like tucked under. Couldn't mm. do that. Oh, uh, okay. I'm trying. I'm gonna try and land on that little ledge that's right in front of me where I died at. Okay. Uh, we'll see if that like is just enough to keep me alive. Okay. Because at the start of your scream is the death barrier? I don't know. Mm. Or do you only scream when you hit the ground? I only scream when I straight up die. Oh, okay. So, I was trying to hit that little barrier there, that yeah. little ledge, mm -hmm. on this side. Couldn't quite make it under there. So now we're going to try for the little one that's right there. Hey, hey, that did it. Fun times all around. Success. Yes. A lake. Yes. Not the carrying kind. No item ahead, hidden path ahead. Or, Liars! Or, um, the metallic clone of a flower? The metallic clone of a flower, he says. You're forgetting the reference. I am completely forgetting the reference. Infinity Train Season 2. Was there a lake? I'm dead. That that was the name of Tulip's smear double. Yeah, but we were there was a lake we talked about first, so I was trying to trying to uh connect from there to the tulip part. Oh, okay. Like that that's where you lost me. Okay, but her name was Lake. Oh, that's right, she changed her name to Okay, that's the part I had forgotten. Yes. I forgot she changed her name. At the last episode. I... I... I know that... I think it's Owen is the creator's name. He still... Has plans for future seasons if people would pick him up again. 
My understanding was he still had a season five he wanted to do, but he didn't have anyone to pick up the series from there where he left uh, off. I, I, I heard he had plans. I fucked up. Yep. That's there goes 10,000 souls. No, I, I jumped at the wrong spot. There goes 10,000 souls. Sad. I heard he had rough plans up to season 10. Maybe? And I know one of them was going to be an old man with onset dementia. Mm-hmm. And that would be kind of interesting, seeing it from, like, a person who isn't completely with it, and seeing their point of view of something that doesn't make much sense. I mean, the question would become, like, is it even possible for that person to fix themselves? Or, right. you know, like, it would also come down to, like, what what is the actual problem that the train is trying to fix here, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, is it the acceptance that you're not gonna get better? Is it the acceptance of, like, death or whatever? Yeah. I feel like that that's where this either works or doesn't work is like the situation at that point. Mm -hmm. Rune Arc Smithing Stone Nine Dragon Wound Grease Arteria Leaf. Just just tell me when you find the mortared leaf and then I'll be happy. Or maybe the rin leaf. I don't know, that rin leaf's kinda shit. Your waifu is shit. shit. Look, man, she's, she's got a leaf in this game. Where's yours? I, I think that may have been a Fate Go comic where Saber is just screaming, Your waifu is shit! Shit, do you hear me? Shit! I don't remember if that's the source of the meme or if it was aping off of another meme. Okay. Because it wouldn't shock me if it was an Ava reference at the start. And it was just between hmm. Ray and Asuna. Asuka. Asuka, sorry. Hmm. Um. No, speaking of fake, oh, how, how, how are you doing in it? Oh, you seeing any good uh, shit? Uh, I'm, been logging enjoying, in? I'm enjoying the advent calendar. Ah, yes. How about the download campaign that started? Nice. Free shit. Ten tickets at the end of it. Oh, man. Which will probably be completely over in the two months by the time this uploads to YouTube. Probably. So it does look like there's some more stuff that way, but I don't know what it would be. That's why they should follow us on Twitch. So they could watch us live and be up to date on all the shit we're talking about. Be impressed at our current knowledge of the Fate series. Yeah. In the mobile department. Also, consider subscribing because I took a recent glance at how many of you are subscribed that are watching, and 95% of our viewers are unsubscribed. So what I'm hearing is they just hate us. Either that, or they go, oh, this is interesting. Okay, nice video. Goodbye forever. Fuck you guys. You're not funny. You're not cool. And they're right. Yeah. I mean, we try to be funny. We try so hard. And we get so far. But in, but the, in end, the end, it, it, just, doesn't even it doesn't even matter. <laughs> I, I did not know you were going to make the Lincoln Park reference, but my mind instantly went there. Oh no, man. Oh no. Why don't people care, man? Uh... Why, why can't they just watch this stuff and subscribe and like and hit the bell and be like, Dudes, I'm here for you, man. Oh, man. Ooh, he's got fancy clothes. Oh, yeah. I look fresh, though. 
Is that a mask he's wearing? Like, oh, yeah. Yellow and red? Yeah. The others usually have the scarf up around their face. Like, you can just see, like, uh, the eyes and the nose. But he's got a full-on mask and a hat. Should I kill him for the hat? Oh, he's got the samurai gear. I don't know. Hidden cave. He might have some, He has some pretty good loot. I... You know what? I found a use for this Newman rune. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you missed it. Or you never no, mind. I didn't. I missed nothing. So you're going to... Else. Buy from him. Give me that ritual pot. Him. What is this? Gravel? Gravel stone? Okay. Uh, t -t 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 give me your samurai gear. And you may want the maps, like the gateway. And yeah, the I want to know what these are for sure. Uh, beast repelling torch. Okay, that's a different torch. It's not just a generic one. Spike cestus. Alright, I'm going to pop a couple more souls. I'm not going to kill him, by the way. Okay, good. good. Supposedly, some shit goes down with all of them if you kill one of them. Oh. Or at least that's that's the way it, I I understand it. So, like, kill one shopkeeper and all the other shopkeepers hate you? I believe so. Or at least they are all aggro. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't want to risk them all going aggro. Else? Yeah. You kill our friend, and now the entire shopkeeper community will hate Oh, he also has forever. infinite poison arrows. Infinite Ooh. snake arrows. Ooh, mm. those are... Those... Mm, not so great for... Uh, well, actually, you know what? Just for the utility of the poison, it's actually not bad. Just going to use all of them. What's that get me? Eleven... All right. Yeah, 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 plenty to get what I want. And your crossbow takes bolts, right? Yep. Okay, so there is no serpent bolt. Not at least not that he has. All right, I'm gonna pop a couple more souls here, quick. And I'm gonna buy a couple of a handful of those serpent arrows, just to have them on hand for later. There does not a. No equivalent. Here. Anything else? Uh, let me just get to this other page. Cool. No. No. Alright, well, I bought 43 of them. Safe so, journey. if ever we need to poison something, or at least attempt it, we've got the, uh, the right arrows for it. Uh, there are... And I'm not too sure how much poison it is compared to the serpent arrow, but there's the poison bone bolt. Yeah, those are the ones that we can craft. Uh, serpent arrow. Serpent arrow, I think, no. has like 70 something build up. No, it seems that the poison bone bolt is the only bolt that has poison, but there appears to be. Three arrows for poison. So I'm not too sure why. Yeah, I do find it interesting. Ooh, sky shot! Ooh. What the hell is that? Uh. Something awesome, I guess, is. Why do I feel like... Oh, that giant's trying to shoot me with the arrow again. Okay. Just gonna move away from the edge so he doesn't keep doing that. Sky shot. Mm. What is that? There it is. Hi, Shavor. Sky shot. No affinity to an ornament, but imparts the following skill. Sky shot. Archery. Skill. Uh, skill performed from a low stance. Ready the bow, then fire in the high, uh, fire an arrow high up in the air, arcing so as to strike the enemy from above when it comes down. Usable on light bows and long bows. Hmm. I wonder how much damage that does and how long the build-up is for that shot. 
Because I can't, I can't imagine that being useful in the middle of, like, a boss fight. That probably. seems like a sniper shot more than anything else. Probably not. Alright, well, it was worthwhile coming up this way. Got lots of sheep. Dead end over here. Lots of bleeding sheep. Bleating away. That's a dead dragon. Likely dog. Yeah, it's dead. Is there anything on this side? Besides dogs. No, it doesn't look like it. I'm a ghost. I'm not here. You don't see me. Hmm. You're like the ghost that sneaks between the shadows. Where? Mm. All right. Yeah, this is one of our trades. I'm still disappointed about Kevin Conroy. Aren't we all? Yeah, and Jason David Frank. I can't say I'm as uh, as of torn up about that one as you are. But I mean, I'm not a follower of the Power Rangers franchise. No, but it's still an exception, uh, an extension of the Sentai series. Yeah, and and Tokusatsu in general. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but just hearing he died, I'm just like, shit, he was, he was cool. And granted, he wasn't doing much outside of Sentai stuff, although, as I brought up in the, well, most recent episode of Brian's Discuss Anime, we did, um, Bubble. Mm -hmm. I... Yeah, I, I, I discussed it back then that he was working on a project that I'm not too sure if it was completed, but was seemed to be a mercenary with suit power. Mm -hmm. so, but, like, gr granted, I am probably just going to watch that if and when that ever comes out. And maybe if it's like, hey, it costs like $3.99 for suicide prevention and stuff, and I'm like, oh, I'll be all for it, because yeah. they support him in that sense. Oh, yeah. But, sure. yeah. But, just to hear, like, suicide, and I'm just like, that's not good. Did they ever come up for the reasons why he decided to do uh, it? So apparently, from what I've heard, like, he was, like, he got divorced within the past year, mm -hmm. and that, and I think, like, his brother died, and I was talking to Andrew about it, and he says that he follows him, and he'll keep bringing up his brother in the past, like, mm -hmm. two or three years, so maybe something about his brother's been weighing on him. Just general depression, maybe, as a whole. Yeah. And stuff, but... Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, oh, and... Ooh, that hurt. And keeping with, like, the classic 
Power Ranger thing, but did you know from the original Black Ranger, Walter Scott, he lost a finger in his youth, so he, they always seem to cover it up with angles and stuff, and I never knew he was missing a finger until recently, like... I mean, if it's not an obvious finger, I can understand it being easy to hide. And when he was on that Nickelodeon show, like Star Trek for Kids... I uh, didn't even know that was a show that existed. Oh, shit, what was I've that? I've never heard of the Star Trek for Kids. Uh, Space Cases? Nope. Okay, but apparently he was the lead on that series. Or, like... Huh. I think he may have... Okay, hold on. Oh, Let, boy. I am going Tangent to time! Um, next time on Elden Ring! More tangents! Not More again! Not again! References! We're doing it again!